Today, we're going to hear from some talented OpenMRS contributors about work they've been doing to move our front end development forward using micro front ends. But why are we talking about micro front ends at all? What's the big deal for OpenMRS implementers and our work together as a community? Well, as you may know, in the beginning of OpenMRS more than 10 years ago, OpenMRS was designed to be modular and customizable. And this worked fine at first when everyone was sharing the same front end framework. But front end technology has evolved over that time. And the divide between how different implementers build their front end applications grew and grew. We now face some big challenges because of this. Some are related, some are not. So here's some example problems that implementers face today. It's hard to understand the relationships and behavior of the different modules that impact your user interface. The configurability of that interface is still limited. And changes are a big deal. You might even have to restart your whole server. There are also not very many developers around the world who are comfortable working with OpenMRS. And finally, it's hard to collaborate on front-end functionality. This is important because it means that it's harder to create solutions that can be reused across OpenMRS implementations. And as a result, we are missing out on opportunities for collaboration. So what if? What if even your non-developer team members could see what is doing what? What if configuration was fast and easy for relatively non-technical people to adjust? What if you could change things live? No restarts ever. What if we could tap into the interest and potential of millions of developers around the world comfortable in JS, React, other modern front-end development practices? And what if we could build front-end features faster together with other teams around our community? What could that future look like? Well, I'm going to walk you through an analogy using the example of WordPress. WordPress is an online tool you can use to build your own website, even if you're not comfortable programming your own uh, website normally. One of the helpful tools built on top of WordPress is actually a community of people who will upload things like themes, which are kind of like templates that you can get started using to build your website so that you're not starting from a blank page. But on top of that, you can also find and grab plugins. These are little bits of functionality that you might want to add to your website that you don't want to have to build yourself. And finally, there's a user interface that allows you to customize your content, the appearance and layout and visuals. Altogether, this allows you to fairly rapidly build and change your own website. What does this have to do with OpenMRS? Well, as you know, we all share the OpenMRS platform. And on top of that, you've probably gone to the add-ons directory and grabbed any number of different modules. You might have grabbed our recommended reference application package of modules that sit on top of the OpenMRS platform to guide some of the back and front-end functionality that your users end up interacting with. But what about sharing a bit more feature functionality together throughout our community? Imagine a world where we can share extensions. You can come to this same app store, um, it doesn't necessarily need to be a different place um, than the add-ons directory. And you can search for things you might be interested in. Let's say that I'm interested in expanding the functionality and features of our user-facing patient chart. Well, I can come to this, uh, this marketplace, our app store, as it were, and I can see what work is going on in the community right now that's available to me to use. So for example, I can see that this team has been working on a vital signs widget, a lab widget. I might be very interested in the work going on around this immunization tracker. You can see who has created it, um, the star rating that it has, and how many people have used it, for example. Now, what's exciting about this is the potential to collaborate on shared functionality. Some of this might share the same um, design system or style guide guidelines. Some of it might not. But because of the architecture that we'll learn more about today, we will be able to share more of this front-end functionality. What's also very exciting, and Brandon's going to talk more about this in a moment, is that once you have those extensions installed that you're interested in, you'll be able to use this new implementer tool set to configure them further. So now let's learn more about these implementer tools. Over to you, Brandon.